Hi Libra, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your Law of Attraction reading for January 2021. Darlings, I'm doing the shuffling off screen because I really wasn't feeling it this morning. As soon as I got off screen, it started to really come to me really well. So I'm doing the shuffling off screen just to let you know. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I know an awful lot about Law of Attraction. It is a law. We practice it every day without realising it. But once we do start to realise it and we start to practice it um, mindfully <clears throat> and with some attention, we can shift our whole being. We can shift how we feel about things. We can attract things to us, um, small and large, I have to say, um, and it does work. I know a lot of people out there are going to go, oh, it don't work. Yes, it does. It works all the time. But if you are one of these people that goes, oh, I'd really like to do so-and-so, but I can't, you've just cancelled it. You've asked for it, and then you've just cancelled it. And every time you put, I can't, a but, an if, a maybe, that's a cancellation. So you have to get into the throes of positive thinking, positive talking, and positive doing. And the idea of these um, spreads is to give you a flavour of what it is that you can manifest, how you can do it, and an idea, an overall idea, how you are feeling about things at the moment, what may be blocking you. So we're going to start off with these two cards here, Manifestation and Storyteller. I will be jumping the Resistance card and going on to Cleansing and Clearing, then I will come back to the Resistance card. But I like to get the top row done before we turn our attention to this card in the middle. So the first card we're going to turn over is your energy card, the current thoughts and feelings, music and harmony. Darlings, you really do want to be in harmony with the universe. Um, I'm getting that music brings you such great joy and great pleasure that you hear it all the time. You seem to be really tuned in and honed in to music of all sorts and all forms. It's not just one. You will hear something that will, and, and it kind of captures you. Um, and it stays with you. I'm getting that when, once you like a tune, it stays with you. Um, but I do get that there is this sense of harmony that you need um, within yourself. And it could be that you need to play more music around you. You could need to bring yourself back into harmony with self. You could need to be playing more music more of the music that you love um so go ahead and dance for christ's sake you know there's nothing better than getting in touch with your spiritual side yourself your harmony than actually dancing to the stuff that you really like and if you want to dance like a loony dance like a loony who gives a shit party like it's 1999 everybody thought the world was going to come to an end took 20 years but, you know, just, just do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Because if you're happy, your soul's happy, your heart's happy, you will have harmony. It will come really naturally. So, darlings, your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, um, speak or write what you want. Ask, believe and receive. Now, Libra, you have got the three of water in other decks this would be celebration of friends, family and community. In this deck, you have released yourself from these binds and you are now naturally going with the flow of things, whether it's a celebration, whether it's just something that you are doing for yourself. Um, you are really going with the flow. You are just letting things naturally happen around you almost like natural justice is coming in and flowing around you and instead of resisting that you are absolutely going with the flow now the three of um water in this you are not alone when you're doing this journey there are people around you um when you're doing this manifestation there is something that you really are after and it isn't just about going with the flow of the energies around you this is about going with the flow of the things that are going to bring other things to you that you know that 
it's like with me with this YouTube channel. I know with every video I put out, it takes me 20, 30 minutes to record it. Then it takes me about an hour to process it, another 20 minutes to upload it. But I know by doing that one video, that couple of hours it takes, I then gain from that. I reach out to people like yourself. Um, and that's going with the flow. That's me going through a process and actually allowing that, that process to work for me because I enjoy doing it. Um, and this is about enjoyment. This is about happiness. This is about celebration. So that's your manifestation and the way you speak or write what you want. You need to get into that happy, that um, celebratory energy that I know that Libras can do. Um, you know, everybody kind of like thinks of us as being um, this sword wielding kind of star sign but it's because we have a passion for intelligence a passion for intuition um that very often we're saying a stick in the muds and we're not i'm not i'm definitely not um so yeah darlings when i say go with the flight it means absolutely everything and if you've asked for something flow into the belief that you will receive it just flow into it do not put ifs buts and maybes we'll cover that a bit later on but don't put ifs buts and maybes in the way that's negative it's a cancellation don't do it to yourself so moving on to your storyteller your author which is connected to your manifestation be your own author tell your story as if it's happened give it feeling and emotion so if you're going with the flow and your understanding, the flow of things, of how things are working around you, and that if you put in a bit of effort, the universe will put in a bit of effort, and if you put it out there, some happy stuff, happy stuff comes back towards you. If you've already got that down to pat, you have the two of chalices or the two of water. Um, you are giving this some fuck off emotion. You really are. This, this is the coming together of pure love in its purest of forms, in its most passionate of forms, um, igniting passion, igniting desire. Um, and I'm getting that whatever it is that you're manifesting, the storyteller, the author, you've really tapped into your sensual side, which means that your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual side has been heightened as well. There is a lot of passion around um around this process but i'm getting unless you've got some sort of water sign in your top three which you know the first one you haven't but if you haven't got water in your rising or in your moon this may be a little bit difficult for you to navigate just go with it just go with the flow because it's going to feel immense to you labra huge shift huge huge shift um to feel like that um and to let allow allow love in allow passion in allow yourself to go with this because at the end of the day um if you are in this positive mind state you should be seeing results wholeheartedly you should be seeing results so i'm just going to jump your resistance for a minute and go on to your cleansing and clearing stop self-limiting or restricting clean away negativity and doubt forgive yourself and say sorry now before you jump down my throat and go i haven't got anything to be sorry about yes you have um you don't have to say sorry to anybody else but there are things that you need to practice to, to say sorry to yourself um how you interact with people how you um maybe interacted with somebody that was a bit negative and it left you feeling quite down the other person's going to feel the same so putting it out there to yourself to apologize to yourself to the universe is a really good place to start it is so when you're getting to the point of cleansing and clearing think about the restrictions you're putting in place think about uh, the limitations you're putting in place and with the love card this is self love and I'm kind of getting that you're limiting yourself on allowing yourself to love you. You're so happy to be in love with other people. Love, nurture, care for, 
all the rest of it Libra because you are at the top of the um, zodiac signs and darlings you just want everybody else to be happy they're saying that this is restricting you and this is limiting you because you're not giving yourself the same um, emotions and feelings um, and you're tapping into negativity and doubt and I'm kind of get. do you know something Libra we get really wounded we do I'm a Libra for those of you who don't know I'm a Libra we get really wounded by words we do um, and people's actions towards us can stay with us for a very long time I know that I can still smart about things that happened 20 30 years ago um, and I've just learned how to really release that let the universe take it let the winter have it just get rid of it because it is negativity it will um, stop you from moving on beautifully for yourself so you start by forgiving yourself you start by um, looking at you and saying sorry to you for how you make yourself feel about you do you see where I'm going with this the universe doesn't need to know how you feel about Joe Bloggs down the street. The universe doesn't need to know how you feel about your partner, your children, da da da. The universe needs to know that you are appreciating yourself. You are loving yourself. You are at ease with yourself. Because, my darlings, you are your creator's greatest creation. And when you pick up all this negativity, this doubt, People have pointed the finger at you. They've said negative things to you. No, you can't. You can't do this. What makes you think you can do this? Been there, seen it, done it. And what I've done in the last four years has gone, yes, I can. And I have. Yes, I can. And that's all you need to do is, yes, I can. I love you. I love you. I appreciate you. I understand that I am a greatest creation of the universe. I have been put here for a really good purpose and I'm going to fulfill that purpose. Do you see where I'm going? That's an affirmation. We'll come to that later. But to love yourself wholeheartedly, you need to get rid of that negativity. You need to wipe out that data. Stop limiting yourself. If you think you can't, you won't. If you think... Um, if you think that asking for something, I was brought up to believe that if you ask for something, you ain't going to get it. Um, and I was, I was so confused as a child, because how does anybody know what you want unless you ask for it? And I got really pummeled into me that passion and desire was something that was evil and was not part of us, an ego and having a big personality i was trodden on for my personality because my personality is larger than life um and i'm getting a lot of libras get into this thing where they have parents and grandparents from different generations that don't see your worth um and it takes for you to love you to see your worth to move on and believe that you can stop self-limiting, you can stop self-restricting, you can clear away the old negative data that has just, it starts with parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, cousins, and then it moves on to school teachers, um, out of school activities, all of those things that people have told you you can't do, or you're not good at, or whatever is negativity it's negativity that other people have put on you because of their own inadequacies and that's what we don't say we when we're in that energy we don't see that people who put us down for a particular reason is because they are lacking in that themselves it's because they haven't got to grips with the fact that we are who we are we put this stuff out there. We are knowledgeable. We are intelligent. We are intuitive. We can read people's minds like that. My mum hated it that I could read her mind. I knew exactly what she was thinking and feeling at any point in given time. And she hated it with a vengeance. She was a water sign. And she, I have to say, she was the wishiest, washiest Piscean that I had 
ever come across you couldn't make a decision to save her freaking life and being an air sign and when we had our birth charts done we were complete polar opposites on our birth birth chart so you can imagine the, my frustration where i really want to make decisions i don't want to procrastinate i want to get on with the job i want to cut away the bullshit and then i've got this person going oh i don't know I don't know, it's alright today, but it won't be alright tomorrow. And it's kind of like, what? So, all that negative stuff that started from the time you was able to walk, able to talk, able to take in negativity, because remember, that's an energy as well. It's an energy as well. So, once you've got to grips with what it is, you can then start clean, cleansing and clearing it. You can start getting rid of it so the first part of the mantra that i use the honer and the polar mantra is please forgive me i am sorry you are not going to say that to other people you may well do as you get the practice in but right now that is for you and the universe or you and your source you and your divine whoever that or whatever that looks like that is for you to work on under your self-love Crikey, that was a lecture and a half Libra, wasn't it? So, darling, your inspiration or your action, believe you can get your dreams, believe in your dreams, believe in you. Now take action, you can do this. You have desire. Was I just saying that I was brought up believing that passion and desire was a, a, a non-starter? Don't ask because you won't get it. Um, ego is very similar. Um, desire comes of ego and darling if we didn't have ego there's nothing wrong with ego ego um keeps us safe ego is um us going for that better job putting more money in our bank accounts ego is going to school passing all our exams ego is getting that degree ego is having the family that you've always wanted or the partner that you've always wanted without ego we would not put ourselves out there we just wouldn't we wouldn't um and sometimes it can get really negative um especially with people that have got egos that are out of control but ego in its true essence is absolutely beautiful and when you get the desire card in your inspiration and your action I am getting that you understand your desire that's deep down and now you need to work on it to bring it up to fruition. You need to tap into all the four elements. You need to tap into healing. You need to tap into earth, fire, water and air to bubble this up, to ignite that passion. You need fire to understand the flow of it. You need water. To understand the intelligence and the intuitive side of it, you need air, but you also need earth to ground yourself with. Because you can end up being euphoric if you don't ground yourself. So that inspiration that drops into your head, that thought, that thinking mode that you suddenly go, oh, where did that come from? It doesn't matter what it is, or oh, I need to bake a new cake, or I need to climb a mountain, or I need to design something, I need to paint something, I need to write something. That's all inspiration. If you get an idea for a business venture, even if you can't afford to do it, start researching it because the universe will step in. The universe has popped that idea into your head. Your source, your divine, whoever it is that you believe is out there, they've popped that into your head for a reason. And if you start acting upon that really quickly, that action will bring stuff back to you. It will bring the universe answering you. So when I'm saying action something, do some internet research. Find out off of other people if they've had a similar thought or feeling about something and see if there's other people like-minded that are thinking the same thing as you because what could like they say tiny acorns turn into mighty oak trees my darlings so just think about that when you are um starting your inspiration and your action the two go together you get the inspiration from the universe and by actioning it by taking some steps towards it, the universe responds very positively. So, Dons, we're going to come to your resistance card. What is blocking 
you and your manifestations and your wishes and you've got the king of fire now the king of fire is all about passion he is all about having seen and done the projects he's all about having that fantastic feeling that everything in the world is absolutely perfect and right but he's got this burning desire to be really passionate about patches and i'm getting that that is really scary for you libra um, you want the intelligence, you want the intuition, but as for the passion, you're kind of like, I want to be in love, I don't want to be in lust. Um, I get that if you get a great passion for something, my lovelies, it can get to the point where it can have you feeling quite devastated and exhausted. You need to find the balance, Libra. You are the scales. So, darlings, if you've got passion on one side of your scales, have thoughts and feelings on the other side of your scales and balance them out so that you can allow this block to pass by. Because this king of fire, he, he really wants you to have this, but you're resisting it. You are resisting, igniting your own passion. That's what it's boiling down to. And he's saying... I've come along to tell you you can have this. I've come along to tell you that it's okay to feel that. It's okay to be in that position. Um, so, yeah, just go for it, darlings. Because I'm telling you right now, that block is a block that you have put in yourself. You have listened to too many people telling you too many things. And now you're wondering where the block's coming from. And he's saying, this is your block take it away feel that passion ignite that passion get that flame going make sure it's a roaring fire and not just an ember or a cinder go so moving on from your resistance to these cards here now you've got i love you and gratitude card the i love you card the three most powerful three words in the world say them often and start with you and then let the love flow to others and yes in your head is fine now libra um everybody knows that watches me i follow a mantra called hona and pono i practice or i try to practice it every single day and it, it kind of starts here with this uh please forgive me i'm sorry kind of thing and then it moves on to i love you and thank you now when you're practicing that mantra when you first come across it it's kind of like well, why am I saying, please forgive me, and I'm sorry, I haven't done anything. Um, it's how you have reacted to yourself, how you react to other people. And the I love you and thank you, none of this is meant for other people's ears. This is meant to be for your own benefit. This is meant to be between you and whoever you think your source, your divine is, whether that is the universe, whether it's the world, whether you've actually got a deity or not. Um, but darlings, the I love you... The learning to love you first. Um, looking in a mirror and not seeing your imperfections. And this is what the four of water is all about. It's not seeing the imperfections. He doesn't see his imperfections. He sees perfection. He sees that he is the greatest creation that ever was created. Um, and he sees that with purity of heart and purity of love he is completely in tune with himself and i'm getting that for a lot of you you are already there libra you've already started to look at yourself in a different light you've already started to understand that librans have got a true beauty that is just all of their own um whether people are attracted to you because of your intelligence your intuition your physical attributes whatever it is I'm kind of getting that you are stepping into your own power and looking at yourself for the very first time in the mirror and going, actually, I like you, waltz and all, and to the point where you're not even seeing the waltz anymore. You're not seeing what's wrong with you. You are rather enhancing what is right with you. And what's wrong with you is what people have made wrong about you. It's other people's perception of beauty it's other people's um ideal of perfectness and um, so darlings keep that up look in that mirror and tell yourself 
that you love yourself, that you are that perfect creature, that you do not have to listen to outside negativities in order for yourself to feel loved and comforted because that, my darlings, comes from within. It really does. So when you're using these three powerful words and you've got used to saying it to yourself, I love you and thank you, um, thank you for being you, I love you because all these are affirmations that you're putting out there. Um, avoid telling yourself what you don't like about yourself. Just build up what it is that you do like about yourself. Um, because darlings, at the end of the day, once you start practicing and it overspills to other people, other people will naturally be... Um, attracted to your energy because you're putting out such a fantastic light be the light is what I always get in these situations because I'm getting that you're nearly there you've just got this bit of a resistance to this passion that you just I'm getting that you won't let go you just won't allow yourself to understand that passion and that's what's holding you back but I'm getting that you're looking in the mirror I'm getting that you're liking what you say. I'm getting that you like the person that you are. Um, and you can build from there, darling. So once you've got that under, Pat, then you can start looking at other people externally of you, other things externally to you, and passing that out. Even if it's just in your head, try it out. If a child is playing up to the point of distraction... Just sit quietly and in your head just keep repeating, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. And see how quickly that child calms down. If somebody is angry, start thinking to yourself in your head, I love you, I love you, I love you. And see how quickly that person calms down. I had a situation at work where I wasn't getting on with a certain person. We had... This brick wall that we were both hitting from opposite sides at 100 miles an hour. And I started to use this, I love you, I love you, I love you. And this person was lifted out of my way. This person was lifted out of my way. They weren't, they didn't go anywhere in particular, but they were um, diverted. They were diverted away from the situation. Um... And that break that we had meant that we were both able to reflect on what happened. Um, and that has strengthened our relationship. Even though we're not actually working together anymore, we still do have a connection. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it does make for a better relationship. So just think to yourself, when something is going wrong, just keep repeating it in your head. I love you, I love you, I love you in all different tones, in all different ways, and see what happens. Because I have to say, I started saying I love you, and it took two days, two days, for that person to be lifted out of my energy. Um, it is powerful stuff. It is really, and we don't give it credit. We say it, don't we, I love you. Um, but how many times do we actually think about the true meaning behind that how many times do we think how deep does that go and that's where that comes from is that when you're sitting quietly and you're trying to get across to somebody that it's okay that they are safe because people lose their tempers because they don't feel safe they're trying to get a point across and they don't feel that they're being heard so for you to sit calmly and just think to yourself I love you I love you I love you is then sending out an energy to them that all is okay in the world and they don't have to shout, they don't have to be um, playing up, they don't have to do all the things that people tend to do when they feel backed into a corner. So darling, the gratitude card. Be thankful for everything, from the smallest things to the largest blessing. The attitude of gratitude, a great place to be. Lovely, you've got the Ten of Fire. Um, in other decks, this is a completion. This, for me, is you learning to use your passion in order to do a cleansing and a clearing. This is a passion that will bring in um, purification. 
of physical, mental, emotional, spiritual and sensual. And once you've done that clearing and you understand that your passion, that spark within you, your desire isn't a burden. It's actually something to be celebrated. Your chakras will come into alignment and you will be the light. You will be the light. So remember to be thankful for every tiny little thing. It doesn't matter how small it is or how big it is. Um, you just you just need to be thankful. You really do. I mean, if after the year we had in 2020, I have to say, I started to look at the really tiny things, the tiny achievements that I was having, the small steps forward to healing the earth. And, you know, it's as simple as a thought that goes out that is similar to a thought of a somebody else and then it goes around the world and it becomes a collection of thoughts and they become really powerful. So when you start getting grateful for things, just think there's somebody else in the world that is being grateful for a similar thing and that is mightily powerful when you start accumulating that gratefulness around the world. So not only are you going to say, I love you, but you're also going to thank yourself for being you. And that's where you start with this. That is exactly where you start with this. You've already got this under your belt. This bit I'm getting that it is linked to this desire, this, this want, this need, this passion that you're resisting. Um, once you allow that in and you allow that purification to take place with that fire and that burn, that flame igniting um, and giving you the light to go forward. And it's going to give you the light going forward, Libra. Your chakras are going to come into alignment and you are suddenly going to understand the connection between mind, body and spirit. You really are. Um, I'm getting that for a lot of Libras, you kind of get that anyway. But to actually feel that as part of the gratitude, part, a part as part of the thankfulness of even just being alive, being able to breathe, being able to absorb the energy around you. Um, I'm kind of getting those two are very close for you to almost have to perfection. Um, I'm so pleased that that has come out the way it has because it means that you are actually experiencing harmony um, between parts of you that you haven't felt harmony. I get that for a lot of you, you felt disjointed for a long time. And I'm getting that January is just going to bring everything together for you. Once you understand about the resistance that you are doing. And it is you doing it. Nobody else is doing that. Nobody else is quashing your flames. Nobody else is... Pouring a bucket of water or a bucket of sand on them. This is purely coming from you. And as a fire sign, uh, sorry, as an uh, air sign with fire that you're trying to dull down. Labour, it ain't going to work. It really isn't. Because being an air sign, what happens when an air sign and a fire sign get together? You fan their flames. You ignite their passion. Now allow them to help you do that. Allow them in to help you do that. I'm kind of getting that. Um, the energies around you, whatever you call them, whether you call them guides, angels, ancestors, doesn't matter. The energies around you are saying, come on, you really need to allow us to help you ignite this passion. Because it's there. It is there. It's right on the tip. But you're so busy fanning the flames for other people, you're forgetting that you have your own flame that needs to be nurtured. So darlings, moving on to your affirmation card. Talk about you and your life and what you want in positive terms. Stop saying, but can't, won't, if, buts and maybes. You have emotions. Bringing your emotions in to balance bringing your emotions under control so that they are even, that they are 
you're not on a high and you're not on a low but you are just in this happy place where you are able to achieve everything you wanted to achieve and if you look at emotions you have got the sword in the middle and that's what we carry as Librans we have an athame we have a sword we wield it we're the only um, star signs that have actually got a weapon and we know how to use it we know how to cut shit away if we need to but we need to understand that to bring it into balance so we don't have to cut shit away because we don't consider the shit around us anymore uh, and we're kind of cleansing and clearing that away all the time now is the time for you to put the affirmations out there that you are in balance that you do understand your emotions that you do you get it you understand your intuition you understand the intelligence behind the thought and the action that you take um put some kind words out there about yourself Libra you're looking in the mirror seeing perfection you're looking in the mirror seeing this creature the greatest creation that your creator has ever made now you need to really tell yourself it and believe it put it out into the universe be positive about yourself be positive about what you do whatever your love is whatever it is that you do be positive about it make a difference I make a difference I am wonderful anything you like just put it out there get it out there there I said there is a couple of really good um, people on the on YouTube some of them are on Instagram as well um, but they are people that use affirmations some of them are writers funnily enough um, and they do an affirmation to help you to write to help you to find the right words that sort of thing and I've done those affirmations and let me tell you they do get you quite focused so really think about that so your last card in this part of the reading is destiny blessings to look forward to really thoughts like you couldn't have figured that out darling this isn't just your own thoughts this is you becoming part of the collective this is you having thoughts that you suddenly realize are connecting to other people and it doesn't have to just be on this plane it can be in the spirit plane it can be within the source heaven whatever you want to call it summer lands you are making a valued connection between heaven and earth between above and below um, and I'm getting that there will be a massive um, understanding for you throughout January around um, this blessing of thought this blessing of that you're thinking things through it is a blessing that we've got Libra that's why we are in our headspace um, but it's learning to use it for the benefit of yourself for the benefit of others and for the benefit of the universe so darlings that's your blessing so your last card is what makes you feel good your happiness card oh my god Libra really your lotus flower unfoldment something huge is happening huge 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 is happening it is um you're gonna you're gonna see sun rises and sunsets in completely different ways something is spiritually physically mentally emotionally healing and unfolding for you libra throughout january um this is going to be your happiness look at the colors in that libra look at how um the lotus flower is just floating going with the flow oh my gosh i've just made the connection with this look at this look at this you have got unfoldment this lotus flower is going with the flow of the water gently egged on by breeze by the warmth of the sun look at this going with the flow harmony wow what a bloody peaceful place to be libra i am so glad i'm with you at the moment oh my gosh what a reading darlings listen i know things are difficult at the moment i want to wish you a very 
happy new year it certainly looks that way for us guys lovelies um please be safe wherever you are and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now